Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2022 examinations. Today we will discuss the question number 39 related to the partial correlation coefficient. Again, we will try to solve this question within a 15 second trick so that you may learn about this methods. You can simply follow my telegram link where this is a scan code are there. You can follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harishkar for the various previous year probability and statistics videos. So let's start with these questions. That's a very question, simple question is there. You have to find the value of A so that the partial correlation coefficient becomes the 5 by 7. So what is the meaning of that? So what is given to you? You have to find, let's say R is a partial correlation coefficient over the vector 2, 3, keeping 1 as a fix. This value is given to you 5 upon 7. Now if you open this formula, firstly what is the formula of this? If I say rho, what is the rho is? Rho I call as a correlation coefficient. Then what is that? This is of how you can open that? It's a 2, 3 minus this is 2, 1, 3, 1 divided by square root of 1 minus 2, 1 square and 1 minus 3, 1 square. This is given to you. This is already given to you. Now the only thing is how you can find this row. So what is the, co what is the co uh, correlation coefficient? That is nothing but the covariance divided by square root of this. So I can define this value as ij over variance of x that is my sigma ii into variance of y. Fine. So what is the sigma? Sigma is called as the covariance and this is called as the covariance matrix. So from this matrix I can firstly find this here. I can tell you simple shortcut trick the diagonal entries are always be 1. Now how you can define this? The first value is minus 1 divided by ij. So this number is my a12. So the first diagonal entries and the second diagonal entries square root of 8. This value is, so this number is 1 divided by this number is 1, 3. So the first diagonal entries and the third diagonal entry. Covariance matrix is always this matrix. So this number is my minus 1 by root 8. This number is my plus 1 by root 8. How you find this number? This, the previous value is my a. a divided by this number is my a, 2, comma 3. So second diagonal, third diagonal, so root of 4 is my 2. This is also here. Now you can substitute all these values in here. What is the row of 2, 3? That is my a by 2. What is that 2, 1? 2, 1 is my here and this is my minus minus plus 1 by 8 divided by 1 minus it's plus 1 by 8. It's 1 by 8 is 5 by 7. So clearly say that it's a 7 by 8, 7 by 8. So if I take the a as LCM, so 4a plus 1 upon 7 is 5 upon 7. So what is the meaning of that? 4a is nothing but my 4. So a is my 1 is the right answer of this problem. That's a very simple concept. I just tell you the shortcut tricks. How you can firstly convert into here. This is the diagonal entries are always 1. That is a normalized. What is that? If I compute 1, 2. That means the covariance 1, 2 over 1, 1, 2, 2. So what is the 1, 2 is my here minus 1 divided by diagonal entries similarly and so on. So once you compute substitute here you will get A as 1 is the simple right answer. So that's the question number 39 which is solved in a very simple manner. We will solve some another questions like 40, 41 and so on in our next videos. Till then you can simply follow the great statistics playlist channel named Dr. Harish Gurks. You can like, share and comment this video with your friends so that they may know about this shortcut tricks. I hope you can learn. Best of luck students. Happy learning.